Hey nail tubers. So in this video, I'm going to be using my McCart poly gel kit that you saw in my haul video. And if you haven't seen it, I'll have a link in the description box. So I just showed you what the content should be. And there is a mini UV LED lamp. It comes with three tubes of poly gel, one clear and two color pinks, a base coat, a top coat, and that little dampen dish right there, I'll be using that to pour my slip solution. It comes with dual forms. There's the slip solution to keep the brush from sticking to the poly gel. My McCart dual ended poly gel brush and picker tool and my hand nail file. I find poly gel to be very easy to use. So this is intended to be an easy, beginner friendly follow along tutorial. So why don't you freeze the screen and print those instructions that I have there for you. Grab your kits and do this with me. If you've been a little hesitant to use poly gel, you're not sure about it. And not only that, I can definitely use your support. So let's do this together. So this nail kit didn't come with specific prep instructions, but that would include push your cuticles, file your cuticle area clean, gently file your nail bed, dehydrate and prime. It starts right at apply the base coat. The McCart base coat has a slight jelly-like consistency yet it's very light and slides on very easily. I started out using the mini lamp to stabilize my hand, which turned out to be a total mistake. I had forgotten that the slightest touch of the top turns it on. I'll be switching to a glass dish later. I had my dual forms already pre-picked but here I'm double checking for sizes because I felt like the thumb that I chose might have been a bit too large. As much as I was trying for this to be a professional video, I actually had that small form on backwards. <laughs> I couldn't see from my perspective. The angle I was at, there was glare from the lights. Once your dual forms are selected, this is where you can become very creative. You can take glitter and create a mix with the poly gel before placing it inside the forms. Here, I chose to use straight gel and later polish it up with unicorn dust. First I used a spatula because the pinky is such a small form, but eventually I got comfortable and just started squeezing the gel straight from the tube. I actually laid the form nicely, then it felt like it was lifting and I had to mess with it a little too much. You'll see the spillage, but it's okay. When that happens, all you do is wipe the cuticle area if there's any spillage from the side and underneath before you cure.
If you still happen to miss anything, that's okay too. It can always be trimmed after curing before you start filing. Always try to remember to dab or wipe your brush to avoid using too much slip solution. Otherwise, it can create a chalky finish after curing. By the way, did I mention that alcohol can be used in place of slip solution? 99% alcohol usually works best because it dries faster. Any thinned out loose edges can simply be trimmed away with nippers or nail clippers so that they don't get caught while you're trying to finish your set. I'm making it a point to close the tube after each time. Also, I try to squeeze the air out and push the remaining poly gel in the tube towards the top so that it's easier to squeeze out for the next one. Another habit that I'm trying to develop is to turn a form and look at it from the front side to make sure that the poly gel appears to be distributed evenly. I find it easy to remove the dual forms by lightly lifting it at one corner of the free edge, then the other, 
it becomes loose and comes right off. Although this is only my second time, I've grown to like poly gel using dual forms a lot. It's so easy. The product is already prefigured, so you don't have to worry about ratio. And the dual form creates the foundation for your apex and nail shape. What I like most though, is the beautiful smooth surface that leaves little need for filing other than refining the shape. The only thing I'm curious about is if there will ever be dual forms in other shapes in the future. I'd be very interested in a more tapered square or even a stiletto form. So while I'm talking about that, let me mention the other way to use poly gel. And there are also some notes about curing. Poly gel is basically a gel and acrylic mixture. So it can be laid over a nail extension, the same as acrylic. So curing time is going to vary depending on how you use your poly gel with or without the dual form because the light has to cure through the dual form. Curing time according to the pamphlet is strictly based on using the mini nail lamp. And I do have to apologize because I believe in my haul video, I said that it was a 12 watt mini lamp. However, in the pamphlet, it indicates that it is a six watt lamp, which I'm a little confused by because I've always learned that those lights individually are two watts a piece. So I counted six and added it up to 12, but they're stating here that it's a six watt lamp. Nonetheless, uh, using the 6 watt lamp, it says poly gel nail, 120 seconds curing time if you're using nail forms or 60 to 90 second curing time if you're layering it. In other words, like acrylic. The thing too is you will often see flash curing, which is not mentioned in the booklet. All it is, is a brief moment of curing just to set a product in place until it is placed into the lamp. Myself, I only flash cured my left hand because that was the side my mini lamp was on. So I would flash cure before having to reach all the way over to the right, which was where my larger lamp was next to my right hand. With the recommendations being 120 seconds in a 6 watt lamp using dual forms, my larger lamp is 48 watts. So I did my own math and pre-calculated curing time to be about 80 seconds or more. Now my math could be wrong, but I think I'm pretty close. <laughs> Now the last thing that I want to mention about curing poly gel is to always remember using low heat mode. Poly gel cures very quickly and it hardens very quickly. This will create heat spikes. So always try to remember low heat mode for poly gel. Coincidentally, right after I recorded this, I saw an Instagram post from Young Nails Inc. where they were suggesting the same thing to use low heat mode for the same reasons. One additional piece of information they added was to cure for 30 seconds more after. I thought that was very helpful and very good advice. The last thing that I want to talk about is the video. My title shows poly gel full set, which I did do. Unfortunately, the editing program that I'm working with apparently does not have the capacity to handle the file size for the recording that I created. 
I will try my best to include possibly some quick clips of me doing my right hand towards the end, but I think you guys get the picture of how to do this by now, right? But I will definitely include the final reveal pictures of the completed set where I've placed the unicorn powder. I just really love how this set turned out. It turned out even better than the first time that I did this. Actually, the thumb came out perfectly. At this point, I've developed a pretty good eye for how much poly gel to use inside the mold. I also started putting less poly gel around the cuticle area. So in that way, when you place it on your nail bed, the small amount of pressure will become filled with the gel as it spreads. I know that this must really look very aggressive, but actually it's not. This is because it's sped up times four. Poly gel is a much softer product than acrylic, so it doesn't require a lot of effort. I just left this small amount of filing ASMR for so many of those who say that they really enjoy it. I am very pleased with how this set turned out as I was also working on shaping. For my left hand, I did more of a tapered square and my right hand, I stayed more close to the shape that came straight out of the dual form. I like them both a lot.
Okay, guys, so I'm so happy to be able to at least include a few clips of my other hand. My plan is to leave these on. I just haven't decided whether I'm going to leave it both hands or just one hand so I could have the other one free to create content. What I'm trying to do is gauge how well my prep was and see if it lasts according to the time that it should last, which on the average is about two weeks. So be looking for that update. I also already have a number of things coming up right behind this. So be looking for that. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget the notification bell so you won't miss another post. Thank you so much for watching today. I am so overjoyed with all of the positive things that have been happening since I've started this channel. So here is the finished product with the unicorn dust. I just love the way it looks. It gives the nails that extra iridescent. It's just pretty. <laughs> Thank you guys. We'll see you next time.